All right, here we're going to be learning about triangle inequalities. And inequalities, if you remember, is the opposite of equalities. So this inequalities means not. So, and you can see the word equal in there. So we're talking about that they're not equal. So when we're talking about this, we have this rule. This rule says that the sum, when we add them all up, of the length of any two sides of a triangle must be greater than the length of the third side. So when we say that, we say that given a triangle with the side lengths of A, B, and C, the three sides of the triangle, the following inequalities must all be true. A plus B must be greater than C, A plus C must be greater than B, and B plus C must be greater than A. So in a scaling triangle, the largest angle is opposite the largest side. And the smallest angle is opposite the smallest side. So how does this help us? Well, we're going to be giving some numbers that we have to test out and see if they will actually make triangles. And so what this says is determine if the side lengths given form a triangle and justify your response. So what we can simply do is go in here and label them A, B, C. That works for us. And then we need to just make sure that we try all three of them. So let's get them set up first and foremost. So there I have them set up. And basically, I just went through and did 1 plus 1 is A plus B is greater than C, and then B plus C is greater than A, and then C plus A is greater than B. I just made sure I had the three things. And now I need to go back and simplify these terms right here. So when I add that, I have 15 plus 12 is 27. Is that greater than 30? Nope. So we're going to put that slash through it. What about 15 plus 30? That would be 45. Oops, I said 45, but I didn't write it. That would be greater than 12. And 13 plus 12, that would be 42, is greater than 15. So this one is true, this one is true, but this one is not. So since one equality is false, the triangle cannot be formed. So this is what we're talking about when can this make a triangle. There's certain things that have to happen. You have to have the sides be longer than the other one. So let's go through this one again. We have 5. Let's get it set up. 5 plus 9 greater than 15. And then I just switch it. 9 plus 15 greater than 5. And then I would have 15 plus 5 greater than 9. I'm just always moving one number over. I do that first, and then I go and simplify these addition problems. So 5 plus 9 is 14, greater than 15. Not true. 9 plus 5 would be 24, greater than 5. That one's true. And this would be 20 is greater than 9. That one's true, but since we have one false one, this is not a triangle. All right, so let's try this next one. I'm going to go ahead and set it up at 14 plus 15, greater than 21. 15 plus 21 greater than 14, 21 plus 15, oops, that should be 14. Yep, this is why I set it up, just not even pretending to know what I'm doing with the numbers. I just make sure I set them all up, and I, what I usually do is just, this number goes to the end, these two scooch over. That number goes to the end, those two scooch over, and so I have the three setups. Then I go through and I worry about my addition problem. So when I do that, I have 14 plus 15, that would be 29. That is greater than 21. When I have this one, I would have 36. When I add that, 
is greater than 14. And when I add this one, I have 35 is greater than 15. So since all of these are true, I have a triangle. So it's a triangle. And I'm just going to give you a hint. There is a pattern that you can do. If you kind of look at these numbers, you might be able to figure it out. I'm not going to put it in the video. You can ask me if it is. There's a shortcut to this. See if you can figure it out. All right, here we're being asked to order the, order the sides or angles of each triangle from least to greatest. So when we do that, we can look at our numbers of these sides and we can see that this is the smallest number, this is the next smallest, and this is the largest. So we're going to write it down. So there I have it listed, but that's not the answer. It's asking us to do by sides or by angles. So the first thing I'm going to do is note the side. So that seven kilometers is being noted by green, the 8.9 is being noted by purple, and then the 12 kilometers I will highlight in blue. So when we go through and we're talking about our sides, we need to look to see what letters are the endpoints of that side. So when I do that, I can see that the green one is being the side A, B, the purple one is A, C, and the blue one is B, C. Now we're going to talk about the angles that created that side. So back up at the top, we talked about the scaling and how the opposite sides and the opposite angles. So I'm going to go back to the same color, and again, here's my smallest right here. I'm going to look at what angle is opposite it, and that is angle C. So for the next one, I look at AC, and I what angle creates it? It is the one opposite it, and that is angle B. And so same for the angle, I mean the line segment BC. I look at what creates it, it's the angle opposite it, and that is angle A. So this is what we're talking about when we're talking about the side relationships, is learning how to read it. And I really do suggest colors like that. It really does help organize your thoughts. So let's try it one more time. And if you're feeling like you want to try it on your own, feel free to pause it and then come back and check it. I will be working it out. But if you want to check your work, you can do that. All right, so the first thing I need to do is look at this triangle and realize what angle is going on here. It is 90 degrees. I have a right angle represented. So I need to look at my sides and angles to see what I want to start with first. And in this one, I want to start with the angle degrees first. Now again, this is not my answer. This is just my thinking. So. On the first one, they gave us the sides, and that's how we started. On this one, they're giving us the angles, so that's where we're going to start. Again, now I have to put it in terms of what this graphic is telling me. So my smallest angle is right here. That is angle E. My next smallest angle is right here. It's encompassing that, and that is angle D. The 90 degrees is my largest angle right here. Oops, I saw. All right, so my angle there is angle F, which is my 90 degrees. So now as we do our sides, we're going to think about what is going on and where is it where's the angle where's the side that the angle is creating. So I find that angle, my smallest one, and I look to the side that's opposite, and that one is side DF. My next one is the one that I highlighted in purple. I find my angle, I look at the side opposite, and I look at that, and that is FE. And then I take my last color, which is blue. I find that angle, and I look at the side opposite it, and that is, ang I'm sorry, side DE. 
So they don't always ask you to find both. They do um, ask you to at least find ones, but you might want to realize that even given this limited information, I am able to determine from least to greatest the sides and the angles. All right, so here's two problems. This first one says Jordan cut strips of border for design for a triangular sign to put on a bulletin board. Two of the strips were 15 inches long, two of them, and the third was 30. Determine if it, the design can be made. So does it make a triangle? So we have to do that A plus B must be larger than C. So the first thing I'm going to do is just write my equations. I only have to write two because two sides are the same length. So now I'm going to simplify and I have 30. I have 30 is greater than 30 and then I have 45 is greater than 15. Well, this one's true, but this one is not true. 30 is not larger than 30. So because of this, the answer is no. He cannot make that design. So that's a lot of words to just do those two little steps. Um, this one's a real common one that you might see at the um, at star. It says the map on the right shows the Myers house, the horse barn, and the garage. Is the house closer to the garage or is it closer to the horse barn? Now, let's look at what's going on here. We have the house. We know that this angle is creating that side. So this angle is creating this side, whereas this angle is creating that side. And if you look back to what we said about scaling, opposite sides, the larger the angle, the larger the side, the smaller the angle, the smaller the side. So it is closer from the house to the horse barn. Because we can use that logic to determine, we don't know what the length is, but I know because of the measurements that this side will be smaller because this is a smaller angle. It will have a smaller length. This is a larger angle. It will have a larger length and we can determine that this one's going to be the longest one of all. We could actually figure out what this angle is because we know that if we add these two together, uh, 45 plus 25 would be 70. So this one would be 110 because I took 70 away from um, 180. So I definitely know this one is the larger side. And it's not asking us that, but I'm just talking about things that we can do and determine from this. So based on just knowing about angle side relationships, I can tell you that this is the shortest distance. If they want to go the shortest distance, this would be it. Okay, make sure you put this in your interactive notebook.